so your graphics card is filled with dust bunnies and could use a bit of a clean, but how do you go about it? Well let me show you. This tutorial is for both a blower style GPU like this one and a multi intake cooler like this one here. For this job you'll need a can of compressed air that can be picked up at Officeworks for about 10 bucks. Next you'll need some alcohol or baby wipes which you can get from supermarkets for $2-3 to $3 for a large packet. you also need a small sized Phillips head screwdriver which hopefully all households should have. Please note on some graphics cards it will have this little sticker on the spring loaded CPU screws. If this is the case you will void your warranty when disassembling your card so be aware of that and only take it apart if it is incredibly dirty or your warranty has expired unless you are confident you will not need to RMA your card. If your card does not have this sticker, don't worry, as some companies like EVGA will allow you to RMA your card even if you have previously pulled it apart, as long as you return it exactly the way it was. If you do not want to void your warranty, just spray the card all over with the compressed air, then wipe it with the baby wipes. Although this method won't be very effective at cleaning it, it will at least get rid of some of the dust. Begin by pulling apart your card as much as you can by unscrewing all screws on the back of the PCB and any sneaky screws around near where the outputs are located. Once you're confident you've removed all the screws, do not yank the card apart, instead twist the cooler back and forth until it comes apart and lift it off just enough to reveal the fan plugged into the PCB. In order to completely remove the cooler, you will have to disconnect this fan plug. Once the cooler and the PCB are separated, lay the cooler upside down so the cooling base plate is pointing up. This next step is optional, but I would suggest doing it if your card is a few years old. You will need isopropyl alcohol which you can pick up from J.Car or Officeworks for about $8 and a microfiber cloth which you can get from supermarkets for $2-$3. You will also need some non-conductive thermal paste which you can pick up from JCAR for about 10 bucks. Unscrew the lid of the cleaning alcohol and jam the cloth over the open container while upending the alcohol quickly to get a small dab of it onto the cloth. Place your finger where the dab of alcohol is and begin cleaning off the thermal paste with the cloth. Once the paste has at least broken off the GPU dye, use a dry bit of the cloth to clean up the residue. Once you are satisfied the chip is clean, proceed to clean the paste from the cooler, doing the same method. The next step is to take both the cooler and the PCB outside and begin spraying them all over with the compressed air. Make sure to get all sides, especially the area where the fin stacks are as they collect the most dust. Once you're satisfied it's time to bring them back inside. This is where the alcohol wipes help as you can wipe away any of the stubborn dust that accumulate on the fan blades and the shroud of the cooler. Don't forget to wipe every side including the back of the PCB. If you have a blower style cooler like this one it can be hard to clean. So I grab a small screwdriver and a baby wipe and cover the end of the screwdriver and wipe in between each blade. After I've cleaned each blade, I spray the cooler again with compressed air to blow out any dust I've loosened. Leave all components to dry for 10 to 15 minutes just to be cautious. Now is the time to apply thermal paste to only the GPU chip itself if you've removed it earlier. My preferred method is to draw a small X in the center. If you're happy with your cleaning job and thermal paste application, it's time to reassemble the cart, so hopefully you remembered where all the screws came from. Take a step back and admire your cleaning work and hopefully you did a good enough job for it to be a visible change. Cleaning your graphics card should help with both temperatures and audible noise the cooler makes, as with all the dust gone, air should flow through the fin stack more efficiently, cooling the dye more effectively. If you enjoyed this video leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it please consider subscribing for more tutorials and other content in the future. If you have a suggestion, question or criticism leave a comment, and thank you very much for watching.